guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see problems based on various forms of equation of a line. In my previous video, we have seen various forms of equation of a line. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below, you can check that out. So let's see this problem, here it says, write the equations for x and y axis. So they are asking the equation for x and y axis. So this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So the x equation for x axis is, here in the on the x axis y is 0, right? So y is equal to 0 is the equation for x axis. And on the y axis, x is 0, right? So the equation for y axis is x is equal to 0. So this is the equation for x axis. And this is the equation for y axis. So let's move on to the next question. So now let's see this problem here. It says, find the equation of a line passing through the point minus 4, 3 with slope 1 by 2. So what is given? So we have a point that is minus 4, 3 and a slope m is half. So we know when point and a slope is given, we can go for point slope form. So in point slope form, we know the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, right? So this is your x1, y1 and this is your slope. So let's substitute here. So y minus y1 is 3 is equal to m is half into x minus x1. x1 is minus 4, so minus of minus is plus, so plus 4. So this implies, this we will multiply here, so 2y minus 3 2 is a 6, which is equal to x plus 4. So you can simplify further, so this implies x minus 2y plus 10 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the line which passes through this point with a slope half. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this problem here. It says, find the equation of a line passing through 2, 2 root 3 and inclined with the x-axis at an angle 75 degree. So what is given? So here point is given that is 2, 2 root 3 and inclined with the x-axis at an angle 75 degree which means theta is 75 degree. Right? So from theta we can find slope. We know slope m is equal to tan theta. Here theta is 75 so tan 75 degree. So what is tan 75? So this tan 75 can be written as tan of 45 degree plus 30 degree. So 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 right? So tan 75 can be written as tan of 45 degree plus 30, 30 degree. So now this is of the form tan of A plus B. So what is tan A plus B? We know tan A plus B is nothing but tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A into tan B. So now let's substitute the values of this. So tan 45, what is tan 45? 1 plus tan 30 is 1 by root 3 divided by 1 minus tan 45 is 1 into tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So let us simplify this. So when we take LCM here, so root 3 plus 1 by root 3 divided by here root 3 minus 1 by root 3. So this root 3 and this root 3 is gone. We are left with root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1. So this is your slope. Right? So now we have point and a slope. We can go for point slope form. So we know the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So y minus y1 is x1, y1. These are the points x1, y1, right? So y1 is 2 root 3 which is equal to m here is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 into x minus x1 is 2. So we will bring this to the other side. So this will be 
रूट थ्री माइनस वन इंटू वाई माइनस रूट थ्री माइनस वन इंटू टू रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू हियर रूट थ्री प्लस वन इंटू एक्स प्लस इंटू माइनस इज माइनस सो रूट थ्री प्लस वन इंटू टू So now let's further simplify this. So this implies root three minus one into y. Here minus two into root three into root three is three. So two into three is three twos are six. So six minus into minus is plus. So plus two root three, which is equal to we have root three plus one into x minus here two root three. Minus into plus is minus two, right? So this implies. Let's take this y term to the other side. So we have x term here. So this is root three plus one into x. This term we will take to other side. So that will be minus root three minus one into y. So now let's take this term to the other side. So here we have minus two root three. When we bring this to the other side, this will be minus. So minus and minus means minus four root three, right? So minus four root three. Here we have minus two. When we bring this to other side, this is plus six. So minus four is equal to zero. So this you can write as root three plus one into x minus root three minus one into y. Minus here four is common. Root three minus one is equal to zero. So this is your equation of a line passing through this point, which is inclined at an angle seventy five degree along the x axis. So I hope this is clear. So always try to bring in the form of a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. That is the general form of an equation of a straight line. All right. So now let's move on to the next question. So now let's see this problem here. It says find the equation of a line intersecting the y-axis at a distance of two units above the origin and making an angle of thirty degree with the positive direction of x-axis. So what they are saying? We have to find the equation of a line. So that line is intersecting the y-axis at a point two unit above the Origin. This is your origin. This is one unit, two units. So the point is here. That is, what is this point here? So zero comma two, right? Yeah, x value zero. And that line is making an angle thirty degree with positive direction of x axis. That means the line is passing through this point, making an angle thirty degree along the positive direction of x axis. So we have to find the equation of this line. So in this case also we have what is given we have point that is zero comma two and the theta so theta is thirty degree we know slope is tan theta so m is equal to tan of thirty degree what is tan thirty tan thirty is one by root three now that we have point and a slope let's put the formula y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one so here this is your x one y one So y minus y one is two is equal to slope is one by root three into x minus x one is zero. So we'll simplify this. So root three into y minus two root three is equal to x. So let's rearrange this. So x minus root three y plus two root three is equal to zero. So this is the equation of a line. That passes through this point, making an angle thirty degree along the x-axis. Hope this is clear. So now let's see this problem. Here it says, find the equation of a line passing through the points minus one comma one and two comma minus four. So if you want to see that point, so let's draw. This is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. So here we have minus one comma one. So minus one is here. So one somewhere here, right? This is minus one comma one, and the next point is two comma minus four. So two is here. Four means here somewhere. Okay, so this point. So two comma minus four. 
So we have to find an equation of a line that passes through these two points. So this line, we have to find the equation of this line. So we know when two points are given, we can go for two point form, right? So what is given? Two points. So minus one comma one and we have two comma minus four. So what is the formula? Y minus Y one is equal to M. M is we have two points. So how you can find a slope of a two point? So Y two minus Y one by X two minus X one, right? So this is your slope into x minus x1 this is the equation for two point form so this is your x1 y1 and this is your x2 y2 so let's substitute here so y minus y1 is 1 is equal to y2 y2 is minus 4 y1 is 1 by x2 is 2 minus x1 is minus 1 so plus 1 into x minus x1 is minus 1 so this will be plus 1 so this implies y minus 1 is equal to minus 5 by 3 into x plus 1. So you can further simplify this. So 3y minus 3 is equal to minus 5x minus into plus is minus 5. Or you can rearrange this. So let me do here. So we have, let's bring this to this side. So 5x plus 3y. So when you bring this minus 5 to this side, this will be plus 5. So minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is your equation of a line. So I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next problem. So now let's see this last problem. Here it says, find the equation of a line. The perpendicular distance from the origin is 5 units and the angle made by the perpendicular with the positive x-axis is 30 degree. So what they are saying? So this is your x-axis. And this is your y axis. We have to find an equation of a line such that that line, the perpendicular distance from the origin is 5 units. That means this is the origin, the distance from here to that line, that perpendicular distance is 5 units. And the angle made by the perpendicular with the positive x axis is 30 degree. That means the line is somewhere here. So the distance from the origin to the this point is 5 units and the angle make, made by this perpendicular is 30 degree along the positive direction of x axis. So here perpendicular distance to the line is given and the angle is given. So this is nothing but the normal form right. So in normal form we know this 5 units is nothing but P. The distance from the origin to the line that is a perpendicular distance right. So P is given as 5 units and this angle, angle is nothing but omega. We have seen this. So omega is equal to 30 degree. So when these two quantities are given, then the formula is X cos omega plus Y sin omega is equal to P. Using this formula, we can find the equation of this line. So x into cos of 30 degree, omega is 30 plus y into sine of 30 degree which is equal to p is 5. So this implies x into cos 30, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus y into sine 30, what is sine 30? Half which is equal to 5. So when you simplify this will be root 3x plus y is equal to 2 is common here. 5 to the 10. So this is the equation of this line whose perpendicular distance from the origin to that line is 5 units. So this is perpendicular to this line. So this is it in this video. We will solve some more problems under this topic in my next video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless.